How many of you here are drummers? Raise your hand. Wrong. <laughs> All of you are drummers. If you have a heartbeat, you can drum. The reason you don't know you're a drummer is you never tried it, or when you were six years old, you got a spoon, and you started bamming on a Tupperware bowl, and your parents said, knock it off! Your parents, bless their heart, they needed some peace and quiet. And now you are responsible adults, and you too need some peace and quiet, and you don't want to hear any more screaming. But it's not time to knock it off. It's time to create. It's time to curate your life. It's time to bang your drum. We human beings have been creating for at least 17,300 years. We know this because of those wonderful, astonishing Stone Age cave paintings in Lascaux, France. Now, if a caveman can create, or a cave woman can be motivated to create, you can too. In his wonderful book, The Courage to Create, by the psychologist Rollo May, he said, if we do not express our own original ideas, we will have betrayed ourselves. Now, why does it take courage to create? My thought is this. We think creativity is only something that the gods or goddesses can do, or human geniuses such as Jimi Hendrix or Georgia O'Keeffe. But that's wrong. If you just drop in on any kindergarten class anywhere, you're going to see a lot of creativity in action. You've probably all heard of the artist Kurt Vonnegut. Well, Kurt Vonnegut was a writer, not an artist, right? Writer. But he loved to doodle. And in a letter he wrote in reply to me many years ago, he doodled this self-portrait. So you can tell, and you know, he did this many times in letters and in his books. You can tell he had a lot of fun. And you can too. You don't need to write the great American novel. You don't need to write a symphony. Simply try a new recipe. Drum. There's a lot of drum circles in the Daytona area. Or doodle. Doodle your own self-portrait. And hell yeah, put it on Facebook. Say, look what I did. Yeah. But you don't even have to fashion anything. You can simply be more creative and more adventurous in how you spend your leisure time, whether it's with Albert Camus or Pikachu. <laughs> this is what I and other uh, people embrace as curating your life. For years, TV producers, the most coveted time slot on TV that they cherish was the time slot following Seinfeld. Why? Because any show that aired after Seinfeld would be a hit. Why? Because research showed people were too damn lazy to change the channel. <laughs> Even with a remote! People wouldn't change the channel. Now what does that say about us as a culture? Oh, we love the new thing. Let's go do the new thing. No, we love routine. We love to be stuck in a rut. But think about everything that you enjoy doing, whether it's sitar music, NASCAR, flatbread pizza, watching Game of Thrones. There was a time when you encountered that thing for the first time, and you were faced with a choice. You either had to say, yes, I'm going to try it, or you said, why in the hell should I watch something called Game of Thrones? I returned to Rollo May, the psychologist. In Courage to Create, he said, whenever we encounter a creative work, we ourselves become involved in creation. Some new vision is triggered in us. So my challenge to you over the next two weeks is to do something creative or to make an adventurous, creative, proactive choice. 
There's a metal band playing at Tirnanog in Daytona Beach on Saturday. They wear witch doctor masks, and they use didgeridoos, the instrument from Australia. Or you can just bake a cake. Or if you're strolling down Beach Street, go into that boutique that you've never that you've passed by a thousand times. Next time you go to a restaurant, don't order the same damn thing. Try something new. Create, curate your life. Bang your drum. Don't let the gods and goddesses have all the fun. See you all at a drum circle. <laughs>